Statistics show that over 40% of voting incidents involve alcohol. To demonstrate the effects that alcohol has on a person's ability to operate a vessel, a test was conducted with a group of boaters. The basis of the test was to navigate through a closed course not accessible to the public. The course was designed to challenge the participants' handling and task management skills. Before getting underway, each were given a word to spell using the lettered gates on the course, and along the way a number of distractions were set up to challenge them further. A baseline of the boaters' abilities was first established where each maneuvered through the course alcohol-free. Then, after a few drinks and a waiting period, their blood alcohol level was monitored and they ran the course again. Aboard the boat was a marine police officer with control over the engine cutoff tether for safety and to observe the changes in the boater's behavior and ability on the course. Definitely harder than it was, you know, without the alcohol. You know, when you're in reverse in a boat like that, you've got the, you know, thinking backwards and then you throw the alcohol under there and it's definitely a lot different. It's consuming alcohol and no matter what you do, it, you know, it slows your reactions and slows things down a little bit. And it's a depressant and that's what it does and it does a good job of it. It's the overconfidence is mixed with the alcohol. It creates a bad situation. Yeah, a little bit faster because I've been drinking. I think she's a good example of where the physical impairment really is in there, but the more the mental and the psychological effect where she's got more of that liquid courage. I swerved around it. I don't know if I hit it or not. I mean, she saw the head pop up and she said, oh, and just kind of motor past it. I think she believes she swerved around it. The alcohol is really causing them to relax quite a bit. So even though they're alert and they're trying hard, their fine motor skills just aren't quite there anymore. Well, I think the alcohol makes a difference. <laughs> yeah, I can feel it. He did not let off on the throttle once. He didn't slow down when he saw the head. He didn't slow down when the baby went overboard. He just said, oh, there's the baby. Just he kept solid on the throttle throughout the entire course. They won't go to neutral or they actually won't stop. They'll think they can power their way through it and then they'll hit something. I judge myself to be a quite a competent and experienced boater, but uh, I could see I was messing up. He's a good example where his confidence and maybe his ego took over and safety issues just went out the window. When a baby went in the water, it took me a while to figure out where it was, then I couldn't get the reverse. He was actually backing down onto the baby instead of trying to keep the propellers and the, the motor away from the person in the water, hanging over the motor. He could have fallen over. It's a, it's a pretty serious thing when you have uh, a propeller injury, and he was definitely a good uh, candidate for either running himself over or running the uh, person in the water over. Whoa, what is that? I was going forward, and then it was this, this dead man head floating half, halfway there, and uh, so it was a bit of a mess. I thought I'd done well, uh, my own, in my own opinion. What Vern demonstrated was that the multitasking was quite a bit of a challenge for him. This is my second ride with Vern, first time alcohol free, now with alcohol. Before we even left the dock, he'd said the word three times, or O-A-R, O-A-R, O-A-R. He was really trying to concentrate on what he had to spell. So right off the bat, that told me that he's already trying to task himself and he's having a hard time with it. Uh, once we got started, he was focused right away on where the baby was, where the infant was, when it was gonna go overboard. So he's trying really hard to keep up with what's gonna happen. Uh, once the baby went overboard, Board, the multitasking went out the window for him because he had completed the O and the R, but he needed the A. But he was confident. I said, did you spell your word? Oh yes, O-R. There's a lot of hazards on the water. You've got to pay attention to your vessel, how you operate it, what you have to navigate around, whether it's a shoal, a marker, into a channel. You've got to pay attention to persons on board and you have to watch out for other vessels. Your perception, your brain, nothing is working and nothing's really quick. You're not quick on the draw like you normally are when you're sober. I definitely think uh, even a little bit of alcohol makes a difference in the way you operate. If you're going to go boating, just forget the booze and uh, just go enjoy yourself out of there on the water. Uh, boating and drinking is definitely not a good idea. Uh, I'm sure it changed my opinion a lot. It sure opened my eyes a lot. You think you've had full control, which is totally, you don't.